a lot of people wonder if those little cans of catalytic converter cleaner actually do anything, or if they're just automotive snake oil. I've tried a bunch, and today we're talking about AeroPack. Catalytic converter issues hit differently, usually after your car starts misbehaving and that check engine light blinks its ugly face. There's this annoying feeling you get when emissions testing is coming up and your car suddenly decides to cough up a code. Here in Portland, failing DEQ, our emissions test, means your renewal grinds to a halt. It's weirdly high stakes for a can of cleaner. The appeal is obvious. Aeropack promises an up to 50% reduction in emissions. That's not a small number, especially compared to a $1,200 catalytic converter replacement. Suddenly, 30 bucks at the gas station counter seems like a tiny lottery ticket for your wallet's future. The application is idiot-proof, thankfully. You pour a whole can of Aeropack into your fuel tank when the gauge is blinking low. Give it about half a tank, so the cleaner's concentration is high enough to matter. This actually helps maximize its effect. Here's where it gets visual. Take a shot of your dashboard fuel gauge dropping near empty, show the check engine light glowing, and pan to you pouring the aero pack in. Add a close-up of the product, labels out, because let's face it, branding makes you trust something or judge it. Once you've fueled up, you need to drive. Not a quick trip to the grocery store, but a solid highway run for at least 30 minutes. The cleaner works best at higher temperatures where the catalytic converter is fully awake. This is the opposite of those five-minute errand runs where nothing gets hot enough. People expect instant fixes, but with catalytic converter cleaner, you're playing the long game. If you're lucky, the light goes out after 100 miles or so, and you pass your emissions with new car bliss. Pros call this a reset and pray method, all risk, all reward. Pain point. Aeropack won't fix a fried or stolen converter, just like vitamin C doesn't fix broken arms. If your emissions readings or codes come back right away, then it's probably time for a mechanic or accepting that $1,200 bill. This is a chemical Hail Mary, not a magic wand. For high mileage cars, one cleaning cycle sometimes isn't enough. Diehards suggest repeating with a second can after the first tank. I tested that and, surprisingly, did see a slight drop in emissions compared to only one pass. Your mileage, literally and figuratively, may vary. Pro tip, use an OBD2 scanner even the $20 Amazon knockoffs, to clear the error code after running AeroPack. This gives the system a fair shake before the next emissions test. Worst case, you still have a handy gadget if the problem persists. The most common complaint is, I use the cleaner and my light is still on. That's usually because people pour the can in with a full tank, drive only four miles, and expect miracles. Follow those steps I described. Low fuel, long highway drive, and maybe a second dose if you're feeling daring. One wild stat. The EPA says about 75% of cars that fail initial smog checks are fixed by simple cleaning and code clearing. That doesn't guarantee Aeropack works every time, but it gives you decent odds. And honestly, it's hope in a can that might just save you hundreds if you get lucky.